Hello, my name is Sabin Tapa and today I brought along Hotel Aggregator Dataset Analysis and Visualization as a part of my Mentorness Internship Program. So without any delay, let's get started. So firstly, we'll be taking a look at some graphical insights, then we'll be taking a look at pricing and availability analysis, host performance analysis, review scores and guest satisfaction analysis, property type and room analysis, and finally, I'll be providing some recommendations based on these insights and analysis. So the problem statement is, the goal of this project is to conduct data analysis of a hotel aggregated data set using Power BI with the objective of creating comprehensive visualizations that eliminate trends, patterns, and factors influencing listing performance. The data set includes variety of attributes such as pricing, availability, post characteristics, review scores, and other relevant information. Various key metrics are to be explored to derive actionable insights aimed at improving the overall quality and competitiveness of the hotel listings on the aggregator dataset. So the objective are to provide some graphical insights, pricing and availability analysis, post performance analysis, review scores and guest satisfaction analysis, and finally property type and room analysis. So before we even start, we import the dataset, the CSV file that we were provided, and I removed some of the columns, the duplicated rows, and I split the column such as say state slash city and country. So these are two uh, columns that I made from a single column called, I believe, host location. So taking a look at graphical insight, we can, the objective is to analyze visualize the distribution of hotel listings in the data set and explore where the listings are concentrated. In this case, we can see that the listings are concentrated in the country of Australia and going by the neighborhood, it is concentrated in the central business district and there are the highest number of listing counts in that neighborhood as indicated by the x-axis and y-axis right here. I also added another, another visual, visual which uh, plots city slash state with the number of listings. So this is a column chart. And we can see that Melbourne followed by Victoria and Sydney have the highest number of listings by state slash city. Taking a look at pricing and availability analysis, we can see that by having month on the x-axis and the average of the prices in the y-axis, we can see that the prices are typically higher during the month of April to June or middle of April to middle of June. And we can also see that entire home slash apartment fetches the highest uh, price. And the private room also fetches quite a considerable amount of price. And hotel rooms uh, during the holiday season fetches quite a good amount of price as well. I've added some some cards here which allows us to filter through the different property types and the room types and here is a plot where the same graph is shown but by property type such as barn, boat, bus, camper and so on and I have also plotted the number of beds to and bedrooms and the average price so we move on to host performance analysis so I created a pie chart and showed the percentage of superhost and not superhost in the data set itself. And by the help of this table, we can see the names of the host and the whether the host is verified or not, whether the host is superhost or not, what the response rate is like, what the response time is like, what the acceptance rate is like, and the number of listings they have and finally verification methods which is the most important one right here and we can also see that the number of reviews and the review itself which ranges from 1 to 5 0 to 5 uh, indicates that higher the number of reviews or higher the value of the review such as 5 the number of listings goes way up so reviews matter a lot 
I've also added a few cards where I took out some location review, value for money, the, the, what the check-in is like, what the cleanliness is like, and what the communication is like, which are all very important metrics. And this card right here also filters through this, uh, these, these few clusters of cards. So in property type and room analysis, we explore the distribution of property and room types. So the basically both of them suggest that entire rental unit or entire home apartment or private rooms fetch the most amount of money. As you can see with this chart right here. And here is also a plot that shows the average count of host listings and the year itself and we can see an increasing trend from 2010 to 2020 and then it's starting to fall off again possibly due to the pandemic so based on all of these information I have some recommendations so the first one is host performance can be maximized by providing multiple methods of verification to guests which is this right here higher the number of verifications you have the more number of ways that the guests can contact you. So the peaks in prices with respect to months can be referenced to properly set prices during those months. Taking a look at pricing and availability analysis suggests that this time period is April to June, which suggests, which is suggested by this graph right here. Moving on, we have private rooms can fetch a lot of money. An entire home slash apartment can also fetch a lot of money while shared rooms can fetch the least amount of money right here indicated by this green line so hosts need to provide a good balance of the two uh, to get the optimal number of guests additionally better reviews directly equate to higher listings meaning that points of reference for the reviews such as location value for money cleanliness, communication, and so on should be emphasized as shown by this graph right here. And lastly, we have the distribution of property type and room type suggests that entire home units are put in the listings more, which indicates a higher demand for them as per this graph right here. So yeah, this was my project. Thank you so much for listening and sitting through this. I have learned a lot, so I would like to Thank Mentorness for providing me this wonderful opportunity. And yeah, thank you. And I can't wait for more projects in the future.